Hello, my name is Elena Milovanovic. I'm playing for Euroleague team MKB Rulis in Chopron and I'm playing for national team of Serbia. Yelena, um, congratulations on a simply spectacular season for you individually and for your club, Sopron, making it to the Euroleague Women Final Four. Thank you for that. It was it was amazing and I'm, I'm still feeling like exciting for that because we didn't expect that in the beginning of the season because we had so young team, the youngest one in Euroleague. But we were doing so hard and we got there. And thank you again for the What is it that makes your team successful? I don't know. Nobody knows about that. We're just young and we are giving everything to the court. I think I just... I really don't know that. I really don't know the answer on that question. The the game that I think really kind of grabbed everyone's attention is when in the quarterfinals you went to France, here in France. You're here for the Euroleague Women All-Star Game and you, and you beat Bourges. Yeah. Uh, what, what are your memories of that game? I think you won by three points, game yeah, one. Yeah, we won by three points and before we came, we had to come to uh, France. We were like, oh, they are unbeaten in home court. so. We have to be mentally prepared and then physically. So we went there and we did a great job. And in third quarter we beat them like so much and then we left on 17. But we could lose that game because we were doing crazy in last quarter. But, you know. We, they made a late comeback, yeah, didn't they? so we made it. And, th and, and then you went it. home to Sopron where you had yeah. the huge fan. And, and what did that mean to be able to play in front of your fans? It, for me, it, it means a lot because they are pushing me to play, you know, when they are like screaming for us, like screaming my name, screaming everybody's name, we are just, they are giving us more motivation for playing, so it's great to play at home court, like with that fans. Now, you, you have uh, the luxury or you have the, the duty or however you want to put it to play for Serbia, and this is going to be a huge summer for your national team as well playing at the Eurobasket women. Yeah, it's going to be a huge. So, we don't, I think we don't have so big expectations because we got in so hard group. But we will go there like we start my team start Euroleague this year. So, we will go with young team and we will give our best. So, if we can make something we can, we will make it. If we cannot, we will just do it like how long we can. If you were going to tell someone that knew any knew nothing about basketball about basketball in Belgrade and basketball in Versace and, and Serbia, how would you describe it? You know, women basketball in Serbia is not like like in like it's in, in Europe, you know. So we don't have like, they don't give attention for women basketball in Serbia, not that much like in Europe, like making all-star team like this is now or, but I feel, I feel sorry, I want to like, when I get older, when I finish my basketball career, I want to I want to make the better basketball, women basketball in Serbia, because we deserve it. We had a lot of talented girls there. Like, I don't want to. I went from home with, when I, when I was 18, so I don't want like everybody to went from home when they are 18, because mm. not. That's not good. Maybe that's good for somebody, but not for everybody, because then Serbian basketball is bad. Mm. So let them like, let's keep them in Serbia. Let's make Serbian basketball better than it is. But I think we have chance to make it better. That's excellent. Another question about Sopron now. Your coach, what is he like? What is Norbert like? And what do you He's, call him? Do you call Nor him coach or Norbert? Uh, I call him, when I make jokes with him, I call him coach. because He doesn't like that. He's like our friend. So I give all respect for him because he's making us like that, not we are making us. So he's young. He's with experience, without experience. He's like... He's not a big coach, mm -hmm. but he's doing his job like he should do. So we are like big family there. So I think we will stay together for a long time. That's excellent. And the final four, you just take the same approach. You avoid playing at Katrinburg and you avoid playing Spartak Moscow region. But at the same time, you might have the hardest game of all. <laughs> playing Avenida. Yeah. Is that how you look at it? it yeah, it, exactly how I look at it because they are playing on home court. So it's going to be, I think, the hardest game in our season. What, what have you heard about this? I've heard Salamanca is pretty intense. Yeah, I heard like, I don't know, but <laughs> with their, I watched the games and with their fans, like, it's hard to lose a game. Like, I won't let myself to lose a game, like, with their fans. So. We'll give our the best like we did all this year, so 
if we have a chance to win, we'll beat them. But if not, we'll just let them to play final. We'll play for third place. So. Yeah, um, real quickly, who was it that you were looking up to in the sport when you were growing up? Did you have any favorite players, men or women? Yeah, yeah I had in, in women. It was Lisa Leslie. Like it's still now, but I I wanted like to meet her or like talk to her. But you know, I know she she you got still got older. time. Yeah, I know that. So maybe I'll have a chance to talk to her sometimes, and like maybe I'll be same like she's you know like she's doing. But that's like gonna be hard. But for men team, it's like Kevin Garnett is still my favorite player. But I'm doing my job, and then maybe I'll be my favorite player. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I think so. You're you're probably already the favorite player of a lot of young girls out there. I I heard I have heard about that, <laughs> and they're like they're calling me. They're like text email me always like oh my gosh you're my favorite you're my favorite i said hey i'm still young but so you're not getting the big head from all of this no okay no, I'll, I'll stay on the floor that's great yelena you. it's it's congratulations and really i have to be honest if if votes were being tallied right now you would get some mvp votes for this oh. season you've been sensational oh i wish i could get it <laughs> really <laughs> thank you so okay. much Ta okay thanks a lot